All right. Welcome back to the channel. 007 here. We uh, we're starting at Neil's Gap this morning. And you know what that means? We get to go through the building with the white blaze on the side. Take care, man. Like I said yesterday, the only building or the only place on the trail where you actually walk through a building. It's crazy. So, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to juggle you. So mountain crossing here at Neil Gap, definitely worth the stop. They got everything you might need. Um, yeah, if you, you know, by this point, so I'm on day four when I got here yesterday. Some people were on day three, some on day five. But you kind of get a feel for your equipment. You see what other people are doing. I know uh, Hootie up on the mountain the other day, seen Odie and I's uh, booties for at night to get in the sleeping bag because it was a little chilly. And she's able to pick them up there. One guy got some in gingy toe socks. I mean, they got everything and a lot of food. So you can definitely resupply here. I will tell you, if you're on a keto diet like me, that sausage and cheese, summer sausage, small one, it was your only option. So keep that in mind. You're not resupplying here. I had a box sent. So that's what I did. So pack a little heavy this morning. All right, let me get up this hill. <laughs> I like starting at first light because you get views like this just with the sun hitting the top of the mountain that's blood mountain we're actually looking at the sun hitting the top of it I won't see the sunrise because I got a bump in, in between me and the sun but man that just makes me stop every time I see something like that I'm going around the side of the bump I guess I get to see it's a little bit of sunrise through the trees. Ha. Love to see that heat tab coming up. <laughs> I'm about a mile and a half into my day here. Heading, uh, we start Neil Gap, heading to Low Gap. The intent was to do 10.6 miles a day. It's my first really day plan day over eight I mean we did do 9.1 the very first day but then we knocked that zero day uh, but then we knocked it down to eight less than eight just taking it easy trying to work our bodies into this hiking every day sorry I'm sniffling but it's about 33 degrees and the winds blowing and it's a little chilly um, yeah so today uh, was planned for 10.6 like I said I've uh, got a little setback, so we're doing do 11 by we, I mean me, gonna do 11.7 today. Started out early just trying to take it easy. I'll tell you, the cold actually kind of helps me a little bit. Uh, feels good, feels right. To start the day off, if I stopped every time I had a view like this, I'd never get anywhere. It's amazing. got us some wind today man thinking I'm about to put another layer on that being my rain jacket just to cut the wind down from cutting through my second layer here Whew. that wind is honking well here's something you don't see every day or at least I don't see every day in fact I don't think I've ever seen it so I'm walking along the trail I come up and there's a set of old boots just sitting on a log and they are old I guess if you need a pair of shoes going out here between bull gap and low gap and you can find a set ah, just a, a gorgeous view But, back to the trail. Man, and yet another view. Boy, it's, 
This ridge line does not disappoint today. It might be cold and windy and cloudy, but it's beautiful. Whew. here to get views like that I know you're thinking man 007 are you just gonna show us gorgeous views with your GoPro on your AT hike well the answer might be yes because every time I turn around this is what I get for all my efforts walking out here Blazes on the rock. Guys, come out and again. I know the wind's blowing. Hope you can hear me. My God, man. I could do this all day. Heck, I am going to do this all day. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. They springs a smile to anybody's face. I knew there was a parking lot up here, and as I'm getting closer, I start hearing voices. And what do my wondering eyes do appear? Boom! Trail magic! <laughs> King Tut! Thank you. All right, I'm going to look for you, man. Take care. <laughs> he made my day. I was thinking about peanut butter all morning. And he had peanut butter and some celery for me. I know, right? Another view. The trail brings me right out here. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful day. It's a little cold, a little windy. But it's nice. Just got down with uh, King Tut. At at that trail magic and this morning I was walking and it just out of nowhere hit me I thought man I could eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I have some jelly at home sugar free it ain't quite jelly but it gets you know it satisfies that craving and peanut butter that was really the part I was craving so I come up there you know and uh at Trail Magic, I've just learned it's rare they have something I can eat, but I'm pretty happy with coffee. And you know, they tried giving me a ham and cheese sandwich. I said, I'm sorry, I can't. Can't eat carbs. And uh, King Tut there says, How about some celery with peanut butter? And boy, you talk about a smile to my face. That was delicious. I haven't had that in so long. I just say, He just kept giving me celery, I kept eating it. And uh, stopping about an hour so we'll see what that does to my blood sugar but man it felt worth it right there that's for sure all right we made it low gap shelter Whew. that was a long day 11.7 miles it's the most i've done out here so yeah i'll wrap this up in a little bit let me get my my hut set up Hey everybody, I'm gonna wrap up day five here. Um, it's a good day. Uh, if you noticed, uh, Odie wasn't with me today, so I wanted to dress Odie. Um, man, I had such blast hiking with Odie, laughing. Uh, always a good time. You know, he made everything light. Uh, really enjoyed his company. He was never walking the whole thing with me. He was just gonna do maybe 100 miles. But he did have an injury to his back uh, a little bit ago while he was training for this and had to stop training for a bit. So we weren't sure, you know, uh, the condition of his back to do this. And, and yesterday, I think, just went over the edge and 
Um, so he's pulling off here at Neil Gap or there at Neil Gap, which is why I stayed there uh, just to make sure he was good uh, with that. But yeah, so had a great time with Odie. Ne was never in the intent that he was going to walk the whole thing. So he was just coming along with me for some company, and uh, and I appreciated the company. So so that uh, that meant today uh, was really the first day I've hiked solo, uh, just by myself. Um, which, which isn't a big deal. I kind of, I, I thought I would be walking mainly by myself, uh, doing the AT anyway. So, so I started at, uh, Neil Gap then. I stayed at a cabin overnight last night, uh, there at Neil Gap, uh, called Blood, Blood Mountain Cabins. Uh, I don't know about the other cabins. I wouldn't recommend the one I was in. So, uh, you know. Uh, didn't have internet. Uh, it, it just it was just rough. So, um, but I stayed there and then I left early this morning because I wanted to get going. I needed to make up the mile, uh, the 1.1 miles from yesterday. So I ended up doing 11.7 miles today, um, and that put me here at Low Gap Shelter, which is where I'm at. Um, it just down there is where you know people are putting up tents, and my tents down there. Total miles on the AT right now is uh, 43. So I'm getting there, uh, but I got a long way to go. Uh, the total elevation gain today was 3,602 feet, and I felt a lot of that. You know, for the most part today, it was, I don't want to say boring, but you know, I'm just, you know, in my thoughts walking, which is, is good with me. But nothing crazy going on until I walked up to uh, Trail Magic and King Tut there. And so uh, that was a good time. I had thought walking uh, before that, that I just hit me up, man, if I get me a peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly sandwich or tortilla or something. I think I said this earlier today in the video, but man, that, that place hit the spot, man. That celery with peanut butter, oh. Still, still I think about it and I like it. Um, yeah, so the that and, uh, man, the views. Every time I turn around, the trail brings you right to the edge and it's an awesome view. So, uh, so my blood sugars today, probably not the best, but not crazy. Uh, this morning I was 140. Um, at lunch I was 142. Uh, that probably had a little to do with the peanut butter and I had a handful of carrots and and some coffee so that's what I had at trail magic uh, before lunch and then dinner I haven't done yet uh, you know it's still early in the afternoon but this is probably going to be my uh, theme I think leaving early and uh, getting the site early and setting up and then just relaxing in the afternoon so um, yeah if you like what you see Man, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and we'll deal with day six tomorrow. All right, take care, everybody.